welcome back to uh, the Witcher. Nope, bring out the silver sword again. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we can attack. There we go. The ghouls are on their board. Hello. Oh, there is some lag. Oh well. I'm doing my base. Oh god. Where, what's my sign? Oh, is that Yurden? Whoops. I didn't know that that would still be active. Okay. Wow, you you guys are so much faster than you used to be. There we go. Oh, there's still one left. Maybe you can walk towards it a little bit faster. Geralt. Geralt, you're faster when you're pirouetting. There, 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 there we go. Well, oh, updated lilac and gooseberries. Striking opponents gains it generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can now you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks or fire and consume adrenaline points. Woohoo! Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Yay! Of course, Thank you for teaching when me. When armies that. pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking, or by meditating for at least an hour. <laughs> oh. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Ooh, edgy. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat, or, or after consume them and regenerate vitality. <laughs> Sorry, that's my tutorial voice, and it's telling me things I already know. <laughs> okay. Okay. X to summon horse. Horse is right there, though. I need to. I need to loot things. Can you let? Ah, the, the, there's still lag. I just want to loot corpses. It's my job. It's my prerogative. I get to loot things, and thank God there's now a button for le letting me loot all. Oh, there's the crystal skull. skull. Thank you. Black crystal. Why do I think this is yet? Because the tutorial said it was. Oh, right. What do your witcher's eyes see? Show me the loot. I killed several of those things. Why? Ah, dang it. Hold on, I'm gonna lower the graphics some more. Oh, motion blur. That's what that was. Yeah, let's not have motion blur. Honestly, motion blur sucks. Uh, nope. Can we turn off bloom? I don't know what anti-aliasing is, but I don't think I liked it on Mass Effect either. Okay, this is a bit better. This is a bit better. Less blur. Okay. Come here, horsey. Horsey! There we go. Roach. Okay, we need your horse, Roach. Why? There we Ever go. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. What, horses? Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt can always count on his horse Roach, whom I have never met before in all my travels, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, press X, like you didn't tell me that earlier. Honestly, I've never seen this before. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Because you can brew potions from their blood? Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Oh, oh, necrophages. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. I'm trying to catch up, old man. Stop that. Too. His theory collapsed. Oh. Was that uh, the one guy from the first game? I forgot his name. Oh, he was so funny, too. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirn are no more. Aww. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Mm. Do you trust him? I don't think I trust Believe him. that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. I keep trying to catch up, old man. What do you want? What more do you want? How do I tell what my horse's stamina is? There are those drowners over near there? Can we kill the drowners? They're right there, right for the picking! 
Dang it, old man. Here we go. I'm gonna... No! Always so fast. So far ahead of me. See, this is actually good follow blank 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 AI. Because he's always in front of you no matter what you do. When in so many other cases you can like... S Whoa, hi. What? Slow now. What are we doing? I was just praising you for having good eye, and then you let me catch up to you? How dare! Oh, we re we made it. <laughs> Whoa there. A roach. Sometime later. We going? Help me! Help! Oh, what's the matter, peasant man? What? Oh no, there's death. Oh, he did. Run! Ooh. Ooh, definitely looks griffinish to me. Just God, that was close. Red, but... I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. <laughs> Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. That's certainly comforting. You like oh. telling people these things? Watch them square. You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. No. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. Well, I'm a different kind of witcher. They also so. say mice are born of rotting straw. <laughs> There's that too. I mean, seriously, I couldn't demand that a coin out of this guy. He just had like said, his entire life upended the right there. Really. Road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? We can hope. Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Aw, that's sweet. Good to know. Not a bad idea. Friends. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from the cellar. <laughs> sure, sure. Say it's Let's for go. your wound. Like that? I don't know. Alright. Back on Roach. What, you got an itch back there? Hold left shift without steering to automatically follow its path. Won't lose stamina while automatically following a road. Oh, nope. I, that's not working. That is not working. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. You're nearing the village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember. Town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft, and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Oh no! Theft? That was my main source of revenue in the first Witcher! Whatever am I to do? Like, like, honestly. 
in, in the first Witcher, you could go into people's houses and just take things from their cupboards and their wardrobes while, them, while they're sitting right there. And they don't even care, they don't even notice. It's like, no offhand comments of, hey, you scoundrel! It's just... That's how you did things. Let's see. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. They're, these are marked on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts work for witchers and local happenings. I just, I really love the open world feeling of this game, though that's probably one of the reasons why it's taking so long to render things out. Come on, Roach. What? Oh, oh okay, we're just found here in the village. Oh, excuse me, Mom, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> a little goose in its bed is going, whoa! <laughs> oh, I love it! Oh. Be nice to Tavin, lady. Seriously. What? Be nice Take to the tavern lady. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. What no, he is a fake and start. What, you're holding your head even before your, your head gets bombed? Huh? And in come the witchers. Witches? I'll not drink with weaver lost freaks. Nah. This is why people don't like humans. <laughs> Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. We can kill that for you. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Oh, lovely. Thank you. Okay, okay, shot panel. Thank you. Um... Yeah, we're looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. Strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. <laughs> so awkward. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay, thank you. I'll be sure to do that. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, pretty busy place you got here. Pretty busy place you got. I love the decorations in the background. Oh, the attention on the moon. to detail of this Some game is... Kin. <laughs> Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. It'd be best to know peace again. Yeah. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. It's been like that for a while now, hadn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Considering the Civil War and everything. Uh, contract on the Griffin? Is there a contract on that Griffin? I'd like to no, know. No, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. 
So no contract. Wow. That's, that's not gonna be good. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. I'll do it for free. Hey, free experience. And it's terrorizing people. What good are witchers if they don't kill monsters? Anyways. Thanks for everything. Aldermans and lords and elf guardians. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. I'm chill. I'm cool. I'm the chillest man you've ever seen. Have you heard my monotone? Yeah. Black this monotone doesn't rile bones. anyone up. Let him measure. Better All right. Burning the harvest. All right. There's some things that have got better and some things that haven't. But look at the mural on the wall. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. Hey, peasants. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Rude. So, options marked with a downwards triangle will make use of the axie sign. These signs influence people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. Basically, think of Jedi mind tricks. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during conversation, conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Okay. Red right woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, and I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. See, that was much more obviously the Jedi mind trick, when in the second game, he did it very subtly with his hand hidden at his side going blip, blip, blip. And it was fine. It was fine. I should take the opportunity to save in case I screw something up. Saves created with this version of the game will be incompatible with previous game versions. What does that mean? What does that even mean? This is this is the only game version I have. So maybe chill. All right, we talked to Alyssa. And... Once more, there are four factions. Four factions. Four. In what? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. You cards? Do you have any naked women on them? I have, a, I have a deck. Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Oxenfurt? Not subtle. Witcher, with tenure. With tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is Horse pure poppy. Of war. I'd like to know Horse more about that. War. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. <laughs> Our girls have become legends. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Mm -hmm. There's often a grain of truth in such things. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Why? Tired of life. I seek knowledge, which I value yeah, I more than life itself. Hand. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. 
I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Mm, magnum opus, eh? Mm. I like both of those, but, like, also... Interesting. We need somebody to describe war. What it's really like. Get more information out to the populace. banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Seriously. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. <laughs> the sword is not the only way. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Sure, sure. All right, well, that's about as much as I Gotta can get go. out of you. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No. I have seen the commercials. <laughs> but the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay, here we go. No more dice, only cards. Yes, any one. Hmm. Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. Yes, I want to enter the Gwent tutorial. Pardon me. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. So basically, Yu-Gi-Oh. The players are generals, and the cards are their forces. Okay. I go first. Oh, wow, this is feeling like Hearthstone. Uh, draw... Ooh, ten cards, yes! Choose cards to redraw. I don't know what I would need to redraw. Uh... Only ten cards for the entire match? Card, the number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. A unit's combat row icon duh, indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Close, ranged, or siege. Some have special abilities. This Cadwenny Siege Expert special ability is called the Morale Boost, which adds plus one to strength to all units in the same row. Okay. Well, the cards are a type of special card. Ooh. You reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. So, Frost is bad to close. Dark is bad to range, and then Rain is bad to siege. Okay. You can select up to two cards to discard and withdraw. But let's skip that and go straight to- Okay, if you say so. Okay, that's my side then. And then... Player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can only be used once during the battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. I almost said K. Uh, press Enter to select a card from your hand. Press it, Enter again to place it on the battlefield. Okay. No. No. Okay. Alright, um... So, how about we start with some people on... Line. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number of the right row shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. End of round, player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. 
Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. A round ends when once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Weird. Is that Siegfried? That was Siegfried! I know that haircut. want to win, don't you? Alright, alright. Let's bring out some rain! Wait. I fucked up. <laughs> it needed to be snow! also loses a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. Do we only have like 10 cards left or do we get more? Tell me we get more. Thank you. What? What's my ability? It's natural and beautiful that a man should love his sister, says King Foltest. Oh my god. Pick an impenetrable fall card from your deck and play it in. No! My, it's my archers! Okay then, I guess we're going. those guys. Nilfgaard wins the tie? Oh no! I don't think we have any cards left, dude! Dang! Oh, that's ridiculous! There is no shame in passing and letting your opponent win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or pur purchasing them from vendors. Well then. <laughs> that was something. That was, that was definitely a thing that occurred. Hmm. Well, it's not a game for everyone. It requires an analytical mind. Well, screw you, fella. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true monster, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeeper by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to wet. I'll remember that. Thanks. And I'll remember your attitude, too. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So, bye bye.